Good morning, St. Nick's. It is assembly time again. Now, I'm in a slightly different place today for my assembly. It is such a beautiful week that I am sat outside in my garden and it is very lovely and I can hear the birds singing. Now, I also have my dog running around. So if you do suddenly see a fluffy little tail coming by, then don't be scared. It is just Dash, my dog. Now, our assembly this week is all about justice. And we are thinking about a saying that I think you are all aware of, treating others as you would want them to treat you. Now, I think we're really great at that at St. Nick's, but I'm going to tell you two little stories. And they both have morals to the story, but they come from slightly different perspectives. Now, the first one is all about an old man and his grandson and a wooden bowl. So there was a granddad who lived with his family. But as he got older, when he was starting to eat, then he would drop some of his food and he would slobber a little bit. And his family really didn't like it. So they decided that the granddad would have to go and eat all by himself, all alone. And one day, even when he was eating alone, he dropped his bowl of food and it went on the floor and it broke the bowl. And they were really cross about it because it was a special bowl. And so they went and they bought him a really cheap wooden bowl. Now the granddad was so sad because he didn't want to eat alone and he didn't want to eat out of this bowl. So his little grandson one day was working with some wood and his mum and dad came along and asked him, what are you doing with that wood? What are you making? And he said, I am making a um, wooden bowl. Why are you making a wooden bowl? His mum and dad asked. I'm making it for both of you for when you get old and you have to eat all alone and all by yourself. Now the mum and dad looked at each other and they felt horrendous and awful and they thought how terribly they had been treating granddad and how when they had put themselves in that position and thought about themselves being older that they wouldn't want to be treated in that way. So they decided that granddad could come and eat with them and could spend time at dinner time with them and it made granddad really happy. Now the moral of that story is really clear to see, that when they looked at it and they decided how they would want to be treated, they knew that they had to change their actions. Now the second story is a little bit different. This one is called The Two Monkeys and the Fish. Now there once lived um, a monkey and a fish and the monkey knew this golden rule and he followed the golden rule to the letter and he wanted to treat others as he wanted to be treated. But one day there was this big massive flood that happened and the monkey got really really scared and so he climbed onto a branch of a tree. Now as he was at the branch of the tree he was looking down into the flood water and all he could see was a fish who was splashing around and looked like he was in trouble. Now the monkey, thinking of the golden rule, put his hand down and grabbed the fish and popped him onto a branch. Now the monkey was thinking if I was in that water, if I was in that flood and I was struggling, then I would want somebody to come and save me. So I would want someone to treat me the way I'm going to treat this fish. Now I think we all know that if we stick a fish onto a branch of a tree, I think we know what might happen. And the fish died. Now the monkey didn't mean for that to happen. He was trying to follow the golden rule. But there was a second monkey, a much wiser monkey. And this monkey was in exactly the same position there was a flood and again he was scared as we climbed onto the tree and this time he looked down and he saw the fish and he thought the same thing knowing the golden rule he thought oh I have to think about treating others the way I want them to treat me if I was stuck then I would want to be pulled out of the water but then the wise monkey thought to himself I need to imagine myself in that person's situation I need to imagine myself as the fish now, as a fish, can I survive outside of water? No, he thought. If I pull the fish out, he's going to die. So this monkey, the wise monkey, made the decision, I'm going to leave the fish where he is, because actually in his position, the water is the best place for him. Now, that monkey was very wise, and he made the really good decision. And sometimes we need to think about what we do when we're putting this into practice. When we're putting into practice treating others as you want them to treat you, we need to think about certain things. So, do we think about how my actions would affect others? So when I'm thinking about what I'm going to do, have I thought about how that is going to affect other people? 
have I imagined what it would be like to have this done to me if I was in the same situation? So before I'm speaking or before I'm doing something, have I imagined what it would be like if somebody was doing that to me? Have I decided that if I was put into the test of the monkey and the fish, if I was the fish, have I decided that I would want to be taken out of the water? So have I thought about testing it to make sure that it's going to work? And have I thought about my actions towards others? So have I thought about what I'm actually doing and how my actions will affect others? Now I think you are really great at this and I think you all do this all the time and make really good decisions. But it's just something to bear in mind and something to think about while you're doing it, is think about what you're doing, what you're saying and how you're acting and how that can affect others. Right, we're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna say a prayer. Thank you God for teaching us how to treat people to know how my effect, uh, actions can affect others, to know how my words can affect others, and to know what I can do about it and how I can think about it and how I can change my actions and my words to support others. Amen. It was lovely to see you. I will see you again next week, hopefully in the lovely sunshine again. Bye.